Hi, I'm Louis Gomert, the elected U.S. Congressman from Texas, 1st District. And we've had a big day here today in Washington. Uh, as your congressman, my top priority is doing everything I can to help the United States of America continue to provide freedom, to provide liberty, to give us our choices, to keep us secure, uh, to give people the opportunity that we're guaranteed. And although I, I did vote against Paul Ryan on the floor, um, he's a good man, he's a good father, he's a good husband, and has a wonderful family. But he has supported things in the back in the past, and going backwards a little bit because it doesn't hurt to look back some. As Satchel Page said, it's okay to look back, just don't stare. Well, when you look back, Paul supported the Wall Street bailout. And I know, I know East Texas. The huge majority of East Texans did not support the Wall Street bailout. No matter that John Boehner got on board by Friday when it passed, actually he voted for it, I believe, on Monday when it failed. But Paul Ryan was in support of the Wall Street bailout the entire time. And even though I had more vote with me against it who were Republicans, uh, there were 90 plus people that Paul had convinced was it was the thing to do. Well, I knew we didn't agree with that. There were other alternatives that would have been better. Um, he supports an amnesty package he has in the past that the vast majority of Americans and the vast, huge majority of East Texans simply do not support. And including from our Hispanic friends in East Texas constituents, a majority don't want to encourage illegal conduct. They, most everybody did the right thing and it threatens their jobs, it threatens their ability to get raises. And he also sided with Barney Frank on some of his gay rights agenda. Uh, he had demanded that we get rid of Thomas Jefferson's rule for the House that at any time during a speaker's tenure he can be voted out by a majority. You don't have to wait two years. So those are things that were very important to me. Uh, and I cast a vote, I believe, in accordance with what the majority will of East Texans has been. Like I say, Paul's a great guy. But we need people in leadership who have the core convictions of a majority of the people in the country that care about America. Now, I know Paul, and he does believe in Americans' exceptionalism. We have been the most blessed country in the history of the world. We have, we have spent money and our more precious asset, American blood, for people's freedom. No other country's done that uh, in the history. We got allies to work with us, but we were the leaders of those things. So when we look at what we need, we do need a secure America. That means a secure border. Uh, people have belittled me, and I understand that, but I speak truthfully. And even though some, even in our East Texas media, belittled me when I said we even have Islamists who have taken on Hispanic-sounding names and trying to blend in and come across illegally, I was quoting from the FBI director. They don't bother to say that. Look, I understand there are threats to this country and there are uh, radical Islamists that want to destroy us. So we need a secure border. We need to control who's coming in. We need to control uh, people that are in the country illegally to make sure people are not here and going to do us harm. Um, but we need to shore up our financial situation. We need to be energy independent. And we have not taken enough steps for any of those things. So I just want you to know I will continue to fight for the things that you believe in because I know I'm speaking for a majority of constituents because we hear from you and I appreciate it so much and I hope you will continue to let me hear from you. And a majority of you wanted me to vote just as I did. So I'll stand with you and for you on the issues. And I, I must say, Paul Ryan 
immediately after taking the gavel, giving his speech, it was a splendid speech. I thought it was a great message. And that's why I was the first member of the House of Representatives to congratulate him after he received the gavel and gave his speech. And I did. I told him congratulations. Um, that was a wonderful, I believe I said that was a superb speech. And I'll do everything to help you when you write. I mean, I will. Uh, because we do need to work together, and I hope and pray that uh, we'll be able to do that. And on a personal note, Paul asked me to pray for him. And he laughed when I responded, Paul, I'll pray for you even when I'm really mad at you. Uh, I got a laugh. I look forward to working with him. But this fight has never been about me. It's about us. It's about our future. It's about the fact that over 70% of Americans, we're told, don't believe that the next generation is going to have near the opportunity that our generation has had. That's intolerable. we got to fight for what's right. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to fight for a strong, protected opportunity uh, for everyone here in America. That's what we're going to fight for. Now, I know uh, I'm here from a spattering of people time to time. Louis, we want you to be a get along, go along kind of guy. We we want you to get along with everybody. Just go along. Be part of don't always you don't always have to stand up and fight. That's right. I don't stand up and fight when I don't need to. But there are things that we have to stand up and fight for because we're losing them and we're losing a lot of our freedom. We're losing a lot of opportunity. But I pledge to do absolutely everything I can for you to make this country stronger, to give you the opportunity and security that you should have, to make sure you have health care opportunities and availability. And, and we can do that, and Obamacare is not the way. And I know that's something I agree with Paul Ryan on. So we're going to look for things that we agree on. I'm looking forward to working with him. I think he'll do a much better job of messaging, and he has, he has said he's not going to push some of the things that I believe are so damaging to our security, to our opportunity, uh, to people finding jobs, getting raises. Uh, he said there, he's not going to pursue those for the next uh, year and a half, and I'll take him at his word, but uh, I'll fight for everything you believe in that America was founded on and we'll see where the future leads us. Thank you so much for continuing to give me this opportunity. Let me hear from you. I look forward to working with you, and I actually do look forward to working with Paul. Thank you. God bless.